After studying this module, you shall be able to know about aging and its familial effects, understand the concept of empty nest, recognize post-retirement depression in the elderly, referred to as retirement blues, learn about the coping mechanism for both empty nest syndrome as well as retirement blues. Aging is a period change in human life which indicates that man and the conditions he is subjected to are constantly changing as time passes. As people grow old, they are more, most likely to go through problems which may be psychological, physiological, social, sexual or spiritual and these have direct impact on the body functionality of the aging person. Aging is often also considered as a process of decaying and results in letting go of certain activities which an individual perhaps may have had a liking for. Example, playing a sport which is physically intensive, a major fallout of the aging process is retiring from work. The time for retirement coincides with Erickson's eighth developmental stage, aging years, which indicate that a person may either have a sense of fulfillment or have a sense of despair or dissatisfaction. As people grow older, they become less self-sufficient in terms of taking care of their own finances, health and generally day-to-day -day needs and obligations. Most societies have generally accepted age of retirement based on societal norms as well as a country's and pension rules. After which point, it is expected as well as accepted by the family as well as the society that an individual will cease to be engaged in employment. The other aspect of aging is that one grows older and needs increasing amount of help and support from close family relationships. It is also the time when the children have grown up and want to explore the world and find their own potential. They want to move out of the familiar surroundings of their home and move out. This may be either due to the further education or jobs in distant places. This leaves the parents, especially the mother, with a feeling of grief and loneliness. Since the moving out of the young adult is considered to be a normal and healthy behaviour, this aspect of the ageing parents is often missed. It also needs to be remembered that this is not a clinical condition, unless this triggers a depressive episode. Empty Nest Syndrome Humans spend more time with the young than nest building birds. This is more so in India. This is there to such an extent that there comes a time when avian metaphors begin to apply very aptly to children. It is often spoken of young adults as learning to spread their wings and fly. They may go to college, get married or accept a job in far off places. Whatever the child's flight path, parents are left with an empty place in the home. Most women spend at least 18 to 22 or sometimes even more years in rearing a person from a little baby to a grown-up adult. Soon after that, when the children are all grown and have to move out of their parents, comes the phase often terms as the empty nest by George and Maya in 1985. Empty nest syndrome refers to feelings of depression, sadness and or grief experienced by parents and caregivers when the last of the children come of age and leave their childhood homes. This may occur when children go to college, get a job or get married. Women are more likely than men to be affected, especially full-time mothers as their entire life revolves around their children and their needs. It is also more difficult for women who are divorced. Often when the nest is emptying, mothers are also going through other significant life events such as menopause or caring for elderly parents. Although males are not usually seen to be affected by the empty nest syndrome, it does not imply that men are totally immune to it. A number of cases have been reported about their fathers showing symptoms of depression on the departure of the grown-up children. They too experience a similar feeling of loss at the flight of their children. Lewis and Roberts in 1982 had found that many of these post-parental fathers experienced the empty nest syndrome. Prolux 2008 also found a similar result. Since the moving of young adults from their home of childhood is a natural and expected phenomena, the feelings of loneliness, depression and grief often go unnoticed. However, some may feel extremely lonely and depressed, to the extent that it may require professional intervention. As the study suggests, 
empty nest elderly were likely to sometimes have mental health problems and to feel unsatisfied with their life. These findings also emphasize the importance of mental health as the determinant of life satisfaction among the empty nest elderly. Feeling sad and crying a little is a normal, healthy reaction to be expected of any parent. It becomes a problem when one has feelings that stand in the way of one's life, such as thinking that one's life is no longer worthwhile. One of the commonly seen symptoms in the person going through the empty nest syndrome is their inability to stop crying excessively. The person becomes emotionally liable and is unable to resume a normal life of seeing friends, going for social gatherings or resuming some activities that get him or her back into the swing of things. Hence, it can be said that empty nest syndrome is a maladaptive response to the post-parental phase which is simulated by loss. Parents, especially mothers, may experience overwhelming grief, sadness and dysorphia. It has yet to be classified as a disorder in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual DSM-4-TR as it is often taken for a collection of many disorders which contribute to it. Symptoms of Empty Nest Syndrome Most parents are susceptible to depression when their children leave home. Furthermore, research has found that some parents are more susceptible than others. People who suffer the most from the empty nest syndrome tend to have certain things in common. These include finding change stressful rather than challenging. Moving out of home is a difficult and emotional experience. Relationship between husband and wife is unstable and or unsatisfactory. Mothers tend to experience separation anxiety on weaning off their babies from the breast or sending their children off to school. These persons tend to rely on their roles as parent for self-identity. Those with low self-worth are more likely to feel bereft than people who have strong sense of self-worth. People who are full-time parents are affected more than people who have other duties to perform as well, such as paid employment. Parents who worry that their children aren't ready to take on adult responsibilities tend to experience more grief. Some coping mechanisms For all parents, there comes a time when they have to accept the absence of their children and the fact that they will now build a nest of their own. Some think that reconciling to a life of loneliness and depression is the only way to cope. However, this is not the case. There are few suggestions on how to cope with empty nest syndrome. Accept the fact that is inevitable. Focus on what one can do to help one's child succeed when he or she does leave home. Keep in touch. One can continue to be close to the children even when they live apart. This can be done with the help of visits, phone calls, emails, texts or video chats. Build a good support system. If one is having a difficult time dealing with an empty nest, one can always depend upon other close contacts for support. Share one feelings and misgivings about safety of the children who have left home helps to a great extent. If one feels depressed, it helps to consult one's doctor or a mental health provider. Stay positive. Thinking about the extra time and energy one might have to devote to one's marriage or personal interests. Friends are important. Develop new friendships or revive old ones. Friends are an important part of your transition from parent full-time to person at home without kids. Get involved in something that you enjoy. It could be anything from cooking some exotic dishes to redoing your home. Take up a new hobby or interest. Or even revive an old one that you were unable to continue while raising children. Now is the free time you were looking for all of those years. Painting, reading or travelling, whatever takes your fancy. Volunteer for charities. Doing something positive and fun with one's free time can be very fulfilling. Connect with other empty nesters. Get to know others going through the same transition and share own concerns and feelings with them. If the depression continues to interfere in the activities that one would like to participate in, it is advisable to visit a health professional and attend a few sessions of therapy like Cognitive Behaviour Therapy CBT, Supportive Therapy or Marital Therapy. One may also be offered drugs like antidepressants by a professional psychiatrist. 
However, many women are working now and have activities beyond their family and children. Therefore, they feel less emptiness when their children leave home. In fact, empty nest phase is often seen to bring new opportunities to explore a time to meet unrealized dreams and a time to go on pilgrims or tour places. Another development that has taken place off late is that quite a few adults children continue to live in their home of their elderly parents. There is also a rising trend of children returning home to live with their parents. Recent studies have also shown that all parents whose children leave home do not necessarily experience the grief associated with the empty nest syndrome. A study done on British, Chinese, South European and East Indian families living in Vancouver found that although parents did feel some sadness at their children leaving home, a majority experienced increased marital happiness and more leisure time. The study also found that it is anticipation of children leaving home that was more frightening than the actual departure. A growing body of research on marriage has shown that the presence of children decreases overall marriage satisfaction and happiness. Children bring financial stress to a couple, impose time constraints and create an ever increasing number of household duties, especially for women. The couples with children are unable to spend time alone as much as they did before having children. The empty nest parents can rekindle their relationship by spending more time together. Preparing for the empty nest When one knows that there will come a time when the children will leave home, it is sensible to be prepared for such a situation. Some tips that can be useful are Prepare for their departure. Make sure that the young adult is prepared with skills for self-help and self-care when he or she is to live on his own. The knowledge that the young adult is well prepared is comforting for both the parent and the child. Think positively. Look upon this as a time for celebration rather than of depression and despair. The baby has grown up and is now ready to live life independently. Keep frightening thoughts aside. Both the parents as well as the child who is moving out will be better off if the entire transition is looked upon as an adventure rather than feeling apprehensive about it. Explore the ways in which you plan to keep in touch with your children. Although it is important to keep in touch with the children to maintain a sense of family, it needs to be done in a non-interfering and unobtrusive manner. Ensure proper communication by ensuring that the children have decent cell phones that can be connected easily. Work out a communication time, avoid being over demanding about communication from the child and accept that they may often have other activities which may interfere in their communication with parents. Explore ways of keeping yourself occupied by deciding on new hobbies and interests. Understand what empty nest syndrome is so as to be able to recognize the symptoms when they occur. Retirement blues. Retirement as per the Oxford Dictionary is the action or fact of leaving one's job and ceasing to work. This essentially means that the person are giving up their occupational post and that the person is free to find another job or if he is quite aged then barely any options remain open. The Oxford Dictionary finds the words seclusion, retreat, solitude, loneliness, isolation and obscurity synonymous to that of retirement. These words clearly have a negative connotation. Factors that influence attitudes towards retirement are the pension expectations, retirement planning and earlier retirement attitudes. Retirement from a workplace is a common feature in old age in both private and public sectors and it brings with it the joy of getting to spend one's time with their loved ones, getting actively involved in a hobby or to idly appreciate the beauty of the world. The common notation is that retirement is a time to look forward to a time to relax, enjoy and have time to do all the things that one wanted to do but never had time to do it. Many people look forward to their retirement as a time to enjoy after having spent a major portion of their life working hard at their jobs. However, when the time of retirement actually comes, people get apprehensive. Post retirement, some people feel lost and do not know how to spend their time. They develop feelings of uselessness and this is known as retirement blues. Symptom of retirement blues As the individual grows older, it results in many physical limitations. 
This often leads to increased difficulties with activities of daily living. These activities include moving around comfortably, looking after personal needs, keeping track of important things like taking meals, bathing and taking medicines regularly. Lack of ability to look after the needs by oneself often leads to depression. One of the many problems post-retirement is that of depression. Many studies conducted on the elderly have corroborated that the prevalence of depressive symptoms increases with age by Kennedy in 1996. However, it has been seen that retirement itself may result in depression. Longitudinal studies have demonstrated that increased depressive symptoms are significantly associated with increased difficulties with activities of daily living. Depression has been defined by WHO as a common mental disorder characterized by sadness, loss of interest or pleasure, feelings of guilt or low self-worth, disturbed sleep or appetite, feelings of tiredness and poor concentration. The role theory given by George in 1993 tries to justify that workplace roles are key to human beings and a loss of a critically important role, role loss, may lead to depression. Interestingly, several studies have found that women share more negative attitude towards retirement and are much more prone to loneliness and depression post-retirement. In the United States, Doshi, Sen and Polsky 2008 conducted a longitudinal study and found that depression and depressive symptoms were significantly associated with retirement in late middle-aged US workers. However, one study by Ritz et al. in 1996 found that retirement actually had a positive influence on self-esteem and a negative influence on depression. Another symptom of retirement blues is loneliness. Adams et al. in 2004 conducted a study on loneliness and depression in independent living retirement communities, where they found that less participation in organized social activities is one of the reasons which attributed to loneliness. In another study, Nemi in 2014 found that the number of suicides and accidents in the group of men dying within two years of retirement exceeded the expected values. Retirement and its effects Retirement can result in depression for relatively straightforward reasons. A reactive depression is usually initiated by acute and severe events that strike at an individual's self-esteem. Example, the breakup of a relationship, unpredicted dismal from a job. But retirement is usually a planned process, with the individual forewarned for years. It is important to remember that we adapt to most stressors that build slowly and incrementally, and we experience more permutation following severe and acute events. Retirement can, however, initiate depression for other self-evident reasons. The personality of the individual is an important reason for a person feeling depressed. His self-esteem, temperament, need for perfectionism, which is part, were being compensated for by his job. And he was able to reap secondary rewards, building up businesses, financial success, approval from community leaders, now rendered him vulnerable. Secondly, and a related issue, it is usually difficult for workaholics to change gears. Many elderly persons try to pick leisure time enterprises, which though serve the purpose of keeping them occupied, are also seemingly designed to fail or which lack the ingredients necessary for satisfaction. Others decrease their time and work commitment so distinctly that they feel purposeless. Thirdly, if a post-retirement plan, example, mastering golf, having the perfect apartment, being able to take up a long cherished hobby, doesn't meet the fantasized expectation, depression is almost inevitable. Lower level of financial status is also an important reason for depression among the elderly. Although the elderly person now has all the time in the world to go for that much awaited trip, he is unable to take it because of lack of finances. Coping with retirement Tamar Chansky, a renowned psychologist and the author of Free Yourself from Anxiety, suggests a few ways of coping with retirement. Plan for retirement while one knows that retirement is inevitable, it makes sense to plan for the days ahead. Plan in advance the financial as well as the recreational activities well in time to avoid feeling at a loose end after retirement. 
Having a good plan of returns on investments will ensure a good financial support when only pension is the family income. Make your own retirement plans. Instead of trying to replicate someone else's plan, it is necessary to understand what really matters to oneself. The temporary discomfort of not knowing is better than realizing later that this is not what you wanted as the way to spend your years of retirement. Develop a new rhythm. After so many years of waking up to an alarm clock, it may feel luxurious to have no time schedule and no particular place to go. But man is a creature of habit. The sudden lack of structure can become unsettling and exhausting. Some kind of a structure needs to be given to the day even though it may be relatively a loose one. Resist peer pressure and avoid being coerced into plans that are not suited to your physical abilities or interests. Do not do something just because others are doing it or expect you to do it. Think positively. Put a time limit on worrying. Spend more time trying to find solutions to your problems rather than thinking about the problems per se. Take more productive steps like reading on health maintaining, meeting a finance planner, workout safety plans, meeting neighbours to build social support. Build social support. This is essential for good mental health. If most of one's socialising in the past was through work, now is the time to explore other possibilities like sports, seminars, yoga, evening walks and laughter clubs. In the process, one will meet other like-minded people. Together, one might even find that one can enjoy retirement. Participate in health improving activities. Participate in events such as laughter club or exercise groups which will help one cope to a certain extent with the blues post-retirement as well as promote healthy activities. These groups not only inculcate positive feelings but also ensure that one has a healthy body and mind. Downsize and save. Many people buy larger and larger homes over the course of their lives as their families grow and their careers blossom. Now is the time to consider scaling down to a smaller house or moving into an apartment. An added benefit of some of these options is that a smaller house or apartment is easier to maintain with failing health and reduced income. A very recent urban phenomena, especially in India, is living in communities specially designed and planned for the elderly. One may want to consider living in a community which is planned with amenities to meet the needs of senior citizens. Their amenities may include arts and craft classes, entertainment, golf courses and even on-site medical facilities. This has the advantage of living with like-minded people not being dependent on children who are either reluctant or unable to look after the elderly and living in the safe environment. Summary Aging is a periodic change in human life reflecting that man and his conditions are constantly changing. One important aspect of aging is that the children after growing up leave their home and move out to distant places for either academic or job related reasons. This leaves the parents especially the mother with a sense of grief and loss. Although this is a natural phenomena and often not given too much attention, some parents may experience such extreme feelings of loneliness and depression that it may require professional intervention. This is referred to as the empty nest syndrome. Some of the symptoms of the empty nest syndrome are feeling stressed and lonely, unstable and unsatisfactory relationship between husband and the wife, separation anxiety experienced by the parent, low self-worth and a loss of self-identity. Accepting the moving out of children is an inevitable aspect of growing up. Keeping in touch with them, building own support system of family and friends, taking up hobbies and activities of interest are some of the ways one can use to cope with the empty nest syndrome. Retirement is the other common feature of old age. Post-retirement, some people feel lost and do not know how to spend their time. They develop feelings of uselessness, low self-esteem and depression. These symptoms are usually termed as retirement blues. This is often the result of giving up a position in the society, giving up certain very pertinent activities, downsizing of available finances and sometimes failing health. Retirement blues are seen more frequently in workaholics who find it difficult to come to terms with having less or no work at all.
The root cause of most of the problems is abrupt change in lifestyle and lack of sufficient planning. Being prepared for retirement, planning for the days ahead, developing a new daily rhythm and keeping a positive attitude are some of the ways one can adopt to deal with retirement blues.